Hey guys, today I'm gonna tell you like how you can run Python file in Node.js plus I'll tell you like how you can give input to the Python file you are running and get, obtain the output also from the Python file only. So let's just get started. Like I have seen a lot of tutorial people are telling you start with child process and all that stuff like I'll tell you in a simple way just use Python shell. Uh, this is a npm package you can install like a Python shell. So let me just I am in a folder currently. Let me open with code. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let me just install uh, this library. I have already installed it. So npm install python dash shell. Okay. So let me just make a new file here and name it index.js. Mm, okay. It's python dot I made a spelling mistake sorry s h e l l s h e l l okay python shell let me make a size little bit bigger font size also settings make it little bit 18 or something like this okay so now it's currently running so let me just show you so firstly we'll like import it we'll say python dash shell equal to require require why it's doing like this yeah python dash shell okay so this is the way like we'll import it after that for running it we'll what do we'll set option let options equal to now we'll say script path scri pt script path and here will give the path so i'm just writing path afterward i'll show you and for running the file we'll say python python okay it should be python capital p y t h o n s okay it will be capital p y t h are what's happening yeah so it will be like this python shell dot run file name file name dot pi then here we'll pass the options like where our, our scripts are then in that we'll get error and result okay and after that we'll print those error and result if we'll say if error error console dot log error and if result if we are getting any results if result console dot log this so if you want to use in an api just wrap this up in a in an api and it will work so for now let's just run and see what does it do so we'll we'll do node node index.js okay it's uh, throwing an error showing me path file name dot not found because i haven't made it so let me in the same directory let me make a file new python file uh, okay here only i'll name it uh, check dot pi and here i what i'll do i'll just print mm, i'll just loop it uh, like for i in name pass okay or range maybe a range so i'll make it range range 100 so it will loop for 100 times and it will just keep on passing it's like a simple python file okay nothing there but it's showing me some error i think let me just check it python let me run this file and check okay nothing th this so like normal python file is running so now we'll give the path here so what is our path so let me just this is our path so we'll just go above and copy it and here i'll just paste it and save it and here instead of like i'll make this slash and here file name should be what is check dot pi c h e c k c h e c k dot pi okay let's just save it 
I'll tell you about input and output also. Now run node file. Okay, nothing happened because our file like successfully ran. Okay, but what if I want to pass some arguments? So what here I'll do? I'll give a r g s args colon and then we'll have an array here i'll give uh, what i'll give i'll give numbers one two three four like i'll give name john here i'll give his age like 45 so these two mm -hmm. argument i'm passing here so how i'll receive these arguments just i have to go here and import a mod like normal inbuilt module called sys import sys so sys means whatever we are running so it will whatever we are writing here it will just take that as, as an input so see first index will be our check dot pi then this will be our first this will be our second okay so here what we'll do import sys and what we'll do we'll say print sys dot argv index first print sys dot argv index 2 okay so because our our first index is this like check dot pi second index this third this okay so 0 1 2 0 1 2 okay so let's just run it so see we got john 45 but it's not uh, this print this is we got from the response like this is the response if we like comment it out the response you can't see the result see so whatever will print in the python it will show here okay so if I print something individually also like if I print uh, 456 and let me just run it see we will we'll get, get in the console okay so that's the way you can like give input and take output also and there one more thing but if you want this thing to be attached so you can what you can do let me just so just comma and give you 456 and you can like put a space between yeah so now this will give you n one index like these are like uh like uh, uh, like a separated index it will be in under one index only now if i run it see john 456 like it's a whole one string like john 456 so every time you print new line so it will be an index so whatever you want to print print in uh, one statement only okay or multiple statement if you want multiple indexes so thank you guys for watching my video.